डिफेंस सिस्टम पुट अप बाय द पेशेंट सो ड्यूरिंग केस विटनेसिंग when the patient moves from a not common language to the uncommon peculiar language because we are basically in this step this connecting the patient to talk about conscious day to day talk we found the focus and we are telling the patient to imagine it of course that is based on the level of experience but we are telling them to explain it in such a level which we may give rise to uncommon language which we speak the language of the source like they will say i'm feeling stuck because i feel that there is something surrounding my body i feel as if something is going round and round and round and round and holding my body tight that is the source it could be any remedy no your snake remedies or anything they feel like i'm getting stuck and i'm getting stuck in such a way that something is going round and round and round and as i'm trying to breathe i am getting more stuck and i'm getting choked this is the uncommon language which will come up not related to the patient but it's the source which is speaking so there is a shift from the lower to a higher level of experience from the conscious to the subconscious and at that point of time the patient directs defenses yes they will speak about stuck yes they will speak about something going around in their body and at that time they will start coughing more they will want to clear their throat more they will laugh they will smile and suddenly they may want to break up away from your way of questioning and they'll suddenly say why is this needed why are you asking so much about me how is it going to help you know these are all defenses that are coming up in our patient because the patient is so afraid at that point of time that his vulnerable core might come into play here okay so these are the defenses which are very common we have a nice slide for that to explain what are the type of questions when such defenses come up so yeah what are the other defenses that will come up so there is a sudden shift in the body language such as the sitting posture okay the patient may be sitting all erect or the patient you know the patient will speak about things going round and round and round and suddenly he may become straight the patient may start moving rocking his chair or shaking his legs the shift can be anything but is very obvious and easy for us to perceive so they may begin to get restless they may begin to shake the legs they may begin to you know bang their fingers on the table something very small but something which we can catch that hey this person this person has shifted now his body language is something different certain eye movements may be observed here the patient starts focusing on a single point or they may look down or they may look up or they may look you straight in the eye some patients may even close their eyes while narrating this experience sometimes you know the patient will say enough enough now i want to go home and especially true in children cases like if you want to talk to a child alone i have experienced it since i see more of kids they say oh we want to go to mama now enough enough we want to go to mama or suddenly they say can i have some water and suddenly their thirst will increase as you are going deeper and deeper exploring their dreams and fears suddenly they will say oh i want to drink water i want to go to mama outside now can you give me this can you give me that simply you know without any reason but they are just defenses which are coming up the patient may suddenly start saying i'm hungry or i'm thirsty or i want to go out i want to go home these are the things which come up again this becomes a part of defenses in a patient okay so see the type of defenses and the expressions that are coming up over here so in projection the person says they don't talk about themselves oh my friend na my friend when my friend gets cough he feels stuck the patient is not saying that he is feeling stuck because of a cough but he think oh no my friend no when he gets cough he feels stuck so when such an expression comes up you ask the patient okay your friend is feeling stuck so how do you think will your friend experience that stuck feeling okay this is the type how when and when these type of defenses come up this is a type of question to ask sometimes they will say 
I never feel like that, huh? I avoid only uh, avoidance. They say I avoid situations where I feel stuck. I never go into any situations where I feel stuck. Why should I go there? So basically, the person is sensitive to this issue, but he says I avoid it. Then you're supposed to ask, okay, you avoided, na? But what is the experience in such situations? What do you think it would be? You are avoiding it, I know. But what do you think will it be in such a situation? Next, the patient will come up with a defense of denial. Oh, I never feel stuck. I am not such a person. No, 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 no. I don't feel stuck. So you are supposed to ask at this point of time. Okay, you don't feel stuck, na? So what would another person who feels stuck experience in such a situation? Okay. Next is rationalization. This patient will say, you know, they'll try to give a detailed explanation about why they are feeling and what they are feeling. And this happens in highly intellectual patients because they want to give a reason to everything what they are experiencing. So the person says, the feeling of stuck arises because when I am running, I am doing this and I feel breathless, so I feel stuck. They give a logical explanation. But you don't want that logical explanation, right? You want the characteristic particular. So you ask them, yeah, I know why it happens. But can you just talk about being stuck? Leave every other detail aside and just talk about being stuck. What do you feel? What does it feel like? Okay. And then definitely you know, using these tools. And if you know that, okay, the patient is avoiding, the patient is denying, the patient is rationalizing. And if you know for sure that this is what is happening at this step, then you can frame your questions accordingly. So what does this defense coming up actually signify? What does it really signify? This coming up of defenses in various forms signifies that the patient's non-verbal energy of the body is coming up with the verbal language, okay? Which in turn means that the verbal peculiar center that he is talking about is really from his holistic being. You know, I give you that example where the patient is saying, I feel stuck and I feel as if something is going around my body and I'm getting stuck, 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 stuck and I can't breathe. Okay. And they speak about stuck, they have certain hand gestures. So when these defenses come up, verbal, whatever she's talking is really coming out from the holistic center. So when the patient's non-verbal energy of the body is coming up with the verbal language, they are speaking about stuff. They are speaking about this verbal thing. That is when you know, and they are throwing up defenses. They are speaking about stuff. They're having hand gestures and they're throwing up defenses. And what is happening? That is when you know for sure that this person is talking from the very core of his being. Since it is a level where the whole being the verbal and non-verbal gets connected into a single unified unit. What did we begin with? We begin with individualization, correct? And we saw that the human being is not a sum of parts, but a whole in itself. So here even you will see the verbal and non-verbal gets connected into one whole, which characterizes that patient, that individualizing character, that PQRS. Okay.